This is There Goes My Money. All right. Welcome, everyone, to another There Goes My Money. This is Friday, July 21st. We're recording on a Friday because we love our fans and we just want to make sure this show gets out there. So today on the show, we have Don Titan Master RC Don <laughs> and we have Chris <laughs> and oh, Matt, no adjectives, <laughs> aka Melvor and Chris, aka XV or XV I'll Braun, if you choose. And then we also Golden have uh, Captain Kirk. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Jason Kirk, who's running the uh, running the video and the audio today, doing the producing. So big thank you to Jason for for helping us out with that. No problem. And yeah, I also I'll, will go by Admiral, too. I'm OK with Admiral. Yeah. Yeah. Admiral yeah. Kirk. Yes. You, you'll yeah, be busted Ad- down by the end of the show. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and it's I'll more be, fun to be captain. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're right. And, and then it, I, was, it was a mistake for you to ever accept a promotion. Don't if let him say so myself. Take you from that chair. <laughs> yeah, and and not shown are all the Orion, the Orion uh, green skin girls hovering off to one side of his chair. Yeah, they're over there. Just remember, all the RFC jobs come with a hundred percent pay increase when you get a when you get a promotion. So you go from zero to absolutely zero. No, you go from zero to three zeros. There's just no number in front of it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get right into the pre-orders. The very first pre-order we have is D11 Richtoven. I hope I said that right. Richtoven, Richtoven. It depends how you want to accent it, I guess. And He's the he, Red Baron. He, <laughs> yes, he is. And he is $79.99 at most retailers. And he is a masterpiece take on... Of course, Power Glide. Uh, Power Glide. I forgot and his he name looks, for a second. I kind of figured. Do, yeah, and he looks really good. I mean, I mean, really, really nice. This is the first one we've seen. This is the first masterpiece ish. Uh, Power Glide that yeah. we've seen. Yeah, masterpiece ish. So. Sometimes I have a habit of seeing one look going, that looks really good. And then I see someone else's and I was like, I don't know what I was looking at. <laughs> yeah, that happened a lot with those Megatrons. Oh, God. Yeah. Up until the official version two Megatron came out. Yeah, I mean, I still like some of my Megatrons. The one that I really regret saying, wow, that looks some good. Some of too, my Megatrons <laughs> was the X Trans bots, Apollyon. And now I just look at that and I was like, yeah, that's, I don't know what I saw in that. It does but, kind of look like Megatron, though. <laughs> well, but at the time, though, that was the best we had, and it, and it really looked pretty good. Yeah. You know, it still it still looks good, just not, you know, again, it's like 07 Optimus versus Revenge of the Fallen Optimus. So many people put down the 07 Optimus now. But one, it still has a lot of charm on its own, and two, we wouldn't have Revenge of the Fallen Optimus without the learning curve from 07. So the Megatron is kind of the same way. I like some of the callouts on this uh, promo render. Uh, like his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of course. Ask, if of she's course in the there, you have to have the opening chest panel with the lit up heart. Uh huh. Right. And then and of course, I, and I think from now on, all the bots that appeared in uh, Hoist Goes Hollywood, they're all going to have the funny mask from this point on. If they were in that episode, yeah, it's better. So I, I love uh, that. I yeah, I almost want to buy. Episode. Yeah, yeah. Actually, somebody needs to make one for tracks. Well, well, yeah. actually, they have the the X Transbots hoist Payen comes with a um, a second mask for for uh, for tracks. I almost want to buy that X Transbots just for the mask. I won't. You would. <laughs> I won't. Well, see, I've well, I've got him right here, and he is a solid figure. Not near as hard to transform as the back cube in the Ocular Max version. Oh, can, I, can I have the mask for tracks? I'll sell it to you. How much? Uh, let me see how much I have to Dynamics, and I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> he has to check eBay to see what they're going for. Make sure he gets a gets a square deal. Make sure nobody undercuts him. But I'm yeah, not this Power Glide even, on the tape. even has a chest panel that opens up to sh- reveal his heart, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Because he has his girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, it's power of heart, so that name translates to Kwame, I guess. I mean, I, Mati, I guess. If if he really had a girlfriend, he should have a wallet, and it opens up, and it should be empty. Okay. On the show. <laughs> okay, okay. Ladies Maxism. watching, you know, ladies, if you're watching and want to send hate mail, send it to Diecast, care of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and this man is married, folks. Yeah. <laughs> and he does, and you do get a fight. And you, and you do you you do get a flight stand, so that's kind of I mean it yeah. seems kind of it seems kind of obvious, but it is nice to get one because Power Glide is one of those figures that his jet mode is just really kind of interesting. It's very similar oh, that, to this. Yeah, it actually stand. is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is the DX9 flight stand. Yeah. Okay. And, so. and a cool thing about this is we might get this redone in either maybe like a G2 style color. Like what came with the suit with the uh, Superion G2 set, or we might get it as a Cobra Rattler, or at least the same colors anyway. Or GoBot. Ooh. DX9 yeah. does like to do their GoBots, so that's a very good possibility. Although the Cobra yeah. Rattler would be kind of fun too. Yeah. Except Tiger it doesn't Force. have a gun mode. Tiger so. Force. Hey. <laughs> oh, Brian would have See, to buy that. No Brian the- would be so conflicted. There's no end to the recolor possibilities here. Oh no, Brian would buy it because it's not a. At that point, it wouldn't be a straight up um, Transformers character, so he'd you know, hand wave that one off and buy it. No, it I think it would look pretty good in Python Patrol colors too, because I've always liked the Python Patrol motif. And yeah, besides, I, I'm, there's not a conflict of interest buying a third party GI Joe reference since there are no official GI Joe references anymore. <laughs> So I am probably going to get this. I am going to see how I can dynamics it a little bit, but I'm I really think they've captured the look of Power Glide, you know, in in this overall look. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It reminds me a lot of the Combiner Wars toy, which I'm not sure if I should think is a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I just got him in the Viper for the Combiner Wars, but yeah, I have a few of those. Yep. <laughs> I have one or two. Yeah. Does like scourges, wait. right? You may have cleaned out the bot con or two. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever saw one, and the second I saw it, I snagged it because I knew. Because Matt would have otherwise. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He is uh he is uh I only have eight, just enough for a a, a squad. A squad, a squad. <laughs> it's not I mean it's not like he's gnaw or anything. Twenty six. <laughs> I got three of them right here. <laughs> yeah, I have three, and I'm yep. pretty satisfied with that. Mm-hmm. I have That's one. The one that needs to set the aquarium. Yep. My Takara <laughs> one will make 27. <laughs> but uh, least, if you at like at your... It has a different deco and comes with a new Titan Master, so... Yeah. Indeed. That, that'll that be my standalone Gnaw figure. You know, he'll, he'll, he can hang out with Wheelie. If you like your legend size figures, Iron Factory EX26 Racing Brothers... Blaze Dash and Bolt Runner are also up for pre-order for about sixty-four ninety-nine at your local retailer or e-tailer. Uh, these are yes, your, your convenient neighborhood e-tailer. <laughs> <laughs> these your are neighborhood e-tailer. A take on Sideswipe and Sunstreaker. 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 Tiredness. Uh, uh, I. I like these. I like these because they're not trying to be slavish to the G1. Yeah. Uh, they're, the they're side swipes kind of... pretty close. They took some liberties with their Sunstreaker, though. Yeah. But it they're is sort of nice. new interpretations of them. Yeah. But it, you know, I'm not planning on getting these because what we're going to talk about here in just a minute is going to get all my money. Uh, but I think it's a really nice. It still looks like Sunstreaker. But it's a different enough take that it's sort of it's just not like a, a carbon copy of every other, every other sunscreen we've seen. Yeah, I I like that they have completely different transformations. It kind from of from the same me, basic car mode. It makes me think a little bit of alternators. Like it's obviously not a one to one take on alternators, Sunstreaker or uh, Dead End, which shared the mold. But like I look at it and kind of feel that same. Uh, concept behind it where yeah it is kind of taking the concepts and just turning them on their head a little bit 
but you're still getting the recognizable product out of it. Now, you know, I will admit I might eventually pick this up and split the set and maybe sell the sell the side swipe to someone because I just think the sun is a lot more interesting with the the different take on it than this than the uh, side swipe. Yeah, I mean, Sideswipe doesn't really get to be that much different, but I think that's more just a failing of Sideswipe's robot design, where it's pretty much the most basic car robot you can have. You know, hood, chest, back end, legs, and the arms just pop out the sides. You can't really... As, if you're sticking with that transformation scheme closely, you can't really get a whole lot of variation in that. And, and it still be Sideswipe. Yeah. I mean, he was the prototypical spy changer, basically. <laughs> Yeah, and these are estimated third quarter. Are we're technically in the third quarter now, right? Or is August start of the third quarter? Uh, well, actually, well, it, well, January, February, March, July, is, August, September. Yeah, we should be in the start of the yeah. third quarter yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah. So that's so good. So. Sometime in the next few months, sixty-five dollars isn't too bad since it's a two-pack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's about thirty-two fifty a figure. The only thing I'd say, uh, Sunstreaker in his, in the car mode, in the alt mode, there's a couple extra panels there on the top that I'm not exactly thrilled with, but overall, I still think they look pretty good. Yeah. And for for more legend size figures, a that lot can, more, a lot more that can even make a bigger figure. We have the War Giant from Iron Factory, which is their take on a Bruticus. And I know Don loves Bruticuses. Mm-hmm. And, and I cannot lie. And they're, they're in two packs, uh, except for except for uh, Onslaught, Onslaught, which is his own figure at $69.99. So the two packs are $69.99, and Onslaught himself is $69.99. So if you're a mathematician like John, like Don, and you add all these up, it comes to about two ten, dollars without Dononomics. Right. But, you know, it's, but, but like, like uh, Chris said in the, in the, in our, in our pre-show warm up, uh, you know, uh, uh, onslaught will have all probably all the extra add-on parts so that's where his cost is coming in is and it's a little bit going to be too yeah yeah but i have to say this really really looks like a good bruticus i mean just tiny little bruticus phenomenal destructive power so don are you sure you want to jump on this right away or do you want to wait and see if they maybe do like a battle gaia or even a baldigus color scheme for this maybe g2 it doesn't really make a difference. I'll probably buy those anyway. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, if if I'm just being completely honest, you know, and besides, you know, I'm I can all I can always skip like G two because I've got G two Combiner Wars. But if they did, if they did if they did a Battle Gaia, I could have it in this format too. Although then they would eventually make a Battle Guy in the Combiner War series, and I'd be like, I have to get that, but I've already got it. Blah, 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 so. I could see yeah. Battle Gaia being like maybe do a like a set of five for a TF con. Ooh, that would be that would be I mean, yeah, because I mean that would be a good price point for an exclusive. You get five figures. If they do with a five pack two for an exclusive, I would almost expect them to knock the price down a little bit, maybe make it like an even two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. But that but you know, and I and I love some of these names, like we mentioned this on RSC. It's like uh, Vortex was what Spin Vulture. So I love some of these names. They're like Bone Slot was like Chariot Gauntlet or something. So yeah. <laughs> so, so so this will be a definitely a definite must get. It'll just be depending on when it hits and all that. And third these quarter. these are all estimated for third quarter. And what's really nice about this this is the first combiner that I can think of to where you can actually build the whole combiner within a short period of time. Yeah. Discounting yeah. box sets, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, discounting, yeah, box sets or, you know, official Hasbro product. I wonder if these well, are all going to launch simultaneously or if they're going to, like, uh, try to stagger them out over, like, a few weeks each. I hope I hope they would hit all close t- together, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be upset if they were a couple weeks apart. 
Yeah. Because if you wanted to, you could ship them together or you could ship them individually mm-hmm. and have, I'm sure they're, you know, the legends are pretty fun to play with. So you can play with them until you get the rest of them. <laughs> You're not like waiting an the, extremely long time. I like the one picture. It looks like he's holding their bridge watcher, their um, yeah. shockwave. Yep. He can do that. It looks a little big, but that's still pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Yeah, How many I, colors are we going to get these in is what I want to know. <laughs> All the colors. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're like including just regular Bruticus, there is like four built in, ready to go. And then, that, and then you've also got uh, Urban Camo and Cheddar Cheese Ruination. Yeah, if you want to get into like, well, the Cheddar Cheese one's close to Baldigus, so like it'd be the urban camo or just the U S retail, uh, ruination, probably colors. But like, yeah, if you want to get into really obscure stuff with this, you've still got some room to play too. And if you I'm want to battle guy, might be the most yes. likely. And if you want to talk, every, rumors... every combaticon team should be repainted as battle guy at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to talk rumors, uh, I've heard that, the war for pocket uh, war in pocket line by DX nine is actually going to be uh, finished other than the designs that we've seen that haven't come out yet. Like they're Grimlock and there's like two or three other figures. They're not making any more war in pocket figures. So iron fact that makes me sad. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I iron guess they're wanting factories. to focus on their bigger stuff. I, I guess. I mean, like I said, I don't, just treat it as a rumor at this point because I don't have any official but confirmation. I, I only like but... their Warren Pocket stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I've got, you know, I, I have their, uh, you know, uh, several of their, I mean, I've got their Allen, which was, which was, which was the first third party sp- uh, Springer yeah. uh, that we got. And I like him a lot. He's a, so- he's a solid toys. build figure. Oh, is, I thought I thought it was DX. I'm sorry. It, to well, me, they're kind of they're kind of the same. I I definitely understand where you would make that mistake. Third because party he's pretty is big, complicated. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, yeah. Third party, third party's relationship status on Facebook is it's complicated. Third party, there's more than three parties. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get a Bruticus, and you get a Bruticus, and you get a Bruticus. And next up on the list, after our uh, Warren Pocket or Iron Factory War Giant, we have Planet X PX06 Vulcan Metallic version. Boy, this is pretty. Yes, it <laughs> is. Oh boy. I have I have one immediate problem with this, which is that being a metallic version, it's not going to match any of the rest of the Dinobots, which means either you're going to have one odd one out, or this is the tipping point of them re-releasing that whole line in metallic colors. Ooh. And neither of those Ugh. things seems positive to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'll be honest, I think it looks great, but since all my other toys are fans' toys, Dinobots, and they've got that deliciously G2 uh, Grimlock coming out, I think I'd rather take the money for this and get the Grimlock and at least have a G2 Grimlock. This isn't meant to go with your Masterpiece figures, though, Don. This is more Voyager scaled. Yeah, if I was going to go in on a set of third-party Dinobots, it would be the Planet X ones. I'm not, like, specifically a huge fan of the video game designs, but I think, like, the Dinobots from the video games are really cool-looking and a really good updating of the G1 Dinobots, and this is probably the best-looking unofficial Dinobot set that's available in my opinion. Oh, I mean I mean it's gore I mean it's definitely gorgeous. And I love I love the faceplate. The face is very it's it's kind of grimlock, but it's also kind of different. It's it's and the way the reds and the golds is of course it's very Iron Man to me. You know, you see that much red and gold you think Iron Man. Oh yeah. But um so I mean it Orc looks tomatoes. great. Just, red gold tomatoes. <laughs> Planet X, though, to me, is getting getting a little bit expensive. I mean, 125 for, like you said, basically a Voyager-sized figure. It's a little bigger than that. Like, their they're Grimlock's a little bit bigger. Uh, a couple of the other ones are more voyager size. I mean, he, he, yeah. this looks pretty chunky, too. Like, there's a lot of plastic there. Yeah. I mean, I, when, I have never really heard a complaint about, like, cost versus value for the Planet X Dinobots. They they kind of mass out where they need to for how much they cost. 
Well, uh, actually, guys, I was looking because we're uh, we're using a picture courtesy of Chosen Prime here. The regular Planet X Vulcan is one forty nine. So this metallic version is, is actually cheaper. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that is interesting. I, I, I want to say Vulcan started out closer to what the metallic one is going for. The the price might have gone up due to you know dwindling supply. Yeah, but that's still a cheaper option if you want to. Yeah, get it into definitely it. is. Yeah. It is pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do actually have this mold in there. It was a TFCon exclusive, and he was red. Oh, with the. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, because it was based on the uh, Transformers Adventure one they did. I think Takara did one with the official Fall of Cybertron Grimlock mold in a red deco for some purpose, and this was, I think, referencing that. Yeah. So. Next up on the list is Transformers Titans Return Delay Deluxe Wave Five Set of Three. Feels a little delayed. Top spin in it. <laughs> yeah, a little Lately. delayed, but I just wanted some official product to talk about today. And the twin twist, not top spin. Top spin. Yes, we already have or top twin spin. twist. We it would be that. nice to have Twin Twist, but we'll probably never see him because Wave 1 and 2, 18-month-old toys are still clogging shelves everywhere. Mm-hmm. And 3 in some places. 3 in Targets and Wave 1 and 2 in Walmarts and usually Toys R Us. So, if you want these, this is pretty much your best bet. Just pre-order them, right? <laughs> yeah. We've heard um, today today relative to when we're recording uh if you're listening to this a year or two from now a why and b you know this doesn't really apply anywhere we heard today uh there was at least one in-store sighting in a target in florida we think all right Uh, okay so these these are apparently in the brick and mortar distribution system if you have a target nearby and you can go to one of the aisle and scanners with the deluxe and they say they have some in the stock room it's worth asking for them to go check and see if they have anything newer just saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, just on a quick related note, I was in my Toys R Us today, and they, and my, I, I, as I've said in the past, I have the smallest Toys R Us left open in the chain uh, in my little town. And they had uh, Trypticon, they had Sky Shadow, they had Six Shot, they had Leader Megatron from last night, Leader Optimus. And they also had um, the two uh, robots in disguise combiners, Minosaur and Mega B. So Ultra B, Ultra B, thank you. So, Mega B is Jimmy Ol. <laughs> Didn't you say they had Leader Megatron too? Why don't you show us that? Okay, is uh, it within arm's reach? Uh, no, but it will. I can get it. Hang on a second. I just got. Okay. I just got. I just got to walk around. I the cat to bring you these things done. Well, not when he's laying at my feet. Because we are doing the uh, what we got in RFC. Gotta move. I will step on. But I still want to do. You know, if anyone got anything this week that's really worth talking about, I think it's okay if we mention it again, or for the first time if it's a different day of the recording. Oh, that's right. Like Overlord. Oh, jeez. Here we go. That's again. That's definitely worth mentioning. <laughs> That is I got great. overlord. I talked about this to some length on RFC this week, uh, right after uh, we got off the phone with John Garcia, who was doing a live report for us from STCC. Thanks again, John. Um, uh, so if you want to go and check out more detail on that, definitely go and listen to the, what we got in that episode. Uh, one detail I did forget to mention is that uh, I had some problems with the tank mode a little bit because the gun is completely paint dipped to be purple. Uh, and that includes the peg and the socket on the tank where the gun pegs into is a painted piece and the sockets interior is painted also. So you get those extra little like half millimeters on each side and it just turns into this little wedge when you put it in. And I had to go to considerable, considerable effort to get that back out without breaking that peg off in there yeah Uh, so i would strongly recommend taking some sandpaper or even you know careful use of a razor knife or something just scrape some of that paint off of that gun handle to make sure that you get a smooth fit or don't peg it down all the way in yeah that's actually really tight on uh sky shadow already uh because i have a really hard time getting that out 
And my Scotty Shadow's not so bad in that regard. It's a snug fit, but it's not one where I feel like there's a risk of it getting like literally stuck down in there at least. Yeah. So I'm go still, ahead. I'm still happy. So reward. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's the first thing I did is, is one, once I grabbed Megatron and, and and did mine, you know, so no one would take it from me. I think I, I might have licked it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> it's mine. I, I, I saw I saw I saw six shot. And I thought six shot sky shadow. Come on, Overlord. Soundwave. So unfortunately, oh. I, I thought maybe Overlord <laughs> would be in the way. But now this is a uh, leader. Leader reflection leader leader glare <laughs> leader, leader mega glare but he's that, that, he's mustard megatron he's got I, some mustard all over him but i'll be honest though this is probably one of the most uniform decos i've seen and and short of dark of the moon megatron this is the only megatron i've actually wanted from the line that i probably will not regret buying because i've sold all my other megatrons except for dark of the moon Galvatron, I got him cheap. And, uh, <laughs> I picked I picked up Voyager Megs as well. You know, because I, I wasn't going to get the Voyager Megs because I figured it would just be a carbon clone to scale down, kind of. But the Voyager wound up having a lot of unique stuff in the transformation that I, it wasn't in the Voyager and vice versa. And since there is no decent leader Optimus this time to have to get, since it's just a reuse of the Age of Extinction one. I figured, hey, I might as well get two, two of the better-looking molds, so I went ahead and got both Megatrons. Nice. And I, and I also found uh, at this Toys R Us, I, I'm, I'm going to be uh, working. I actually found some Shufflers. Oh, did you nice. now? Yes, I did find some Shufflers. Such a good toy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, might, I might put it out there for the community because I would love to have someone to customize it into me for Ultra Mammoth. So <laughs> I, 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 might, I, might have, I might have someone do that for me at some point so did uh jason did you get anything this week well really all i got i mean i got repugnus too but he's still in the package because you know repugnus so is mine but, <laughs> but i have a cast because i had surgery this week for carpal tunnel uh, which i only mentioned ooh. because like i get these out and i can barely transform them because my hands <laughs> fall asleep within minutes so once this is all done i can actually get my toys out and transform them and do stuff with them it'll be fantastic i can't wait for that in a few, in a few weeks but well, well so you've got an excuse for your backlog i've got figure arts i haven't opened three years ago my <laughs> fives is still in the box yep yeah i knew it was time to do something when i got perceptor out and got like three steps into the transformation it was like i can't even finish this right now i need to <sighs> get this fixed <laughs> so yeah i can't wait to actually and then i've got Siege on Cybertron on pre-order. Can't wait to get on that. But me yeah. too. Yep. Since it since it will be the last apparently apparently the, this year the last box set. Yes. Yep. So, Official word from Hasbro on that. Yeah. They now that get doesn't me a God mean, bomber. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Well, that doesn't that doesn't mean that we we might not get one next year. It's just yeah. this it's for this year that they're saying it, there's no more sets. Although even if they you know do uh you know uh what firepower and intelligence sets next year i don't think they will r- likely have any relation to what they would have been if they happened this year um, yeah they'll be, they'll be they'll be power of the primes but the good the cool thing is some of the things we've seen already for power of the primes like say a g2 beachcomber that could be a good thing for the set that it might not sell on its own but it'll be kind of exactly <laughs> Or, or or maybe a G two C spray or sorry I have that in the box somewhere I don't know where or where they pull that out too yeah <laughs> or or like I said the Buster the Dark Wind and Dreadwing as Buster and Hydra I'm and expecting a, that from Takara yeah that's I mean that's like that's like an obvious one for them to do instead Did you of see like, my Photoshop's done uh, yes, no I, I'm they not look amazing done, I haven't done much today except try to manage Twitter. I, I mean, <laughs> Takara will Takara willing. I will one day have a combiner, which the limbs are Darkwing, Dreadwind, Hydra, and Buster. So, <laughs> and you yeah, should I call it Dread King. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I literally, I literally had about fifty six notifications on Twitter when I got off work. Yeah, so I wonder I, why. <laughs> what yeah, happened today, Don? Hmm. Uh, what happened today is what we discussed on a very special. Uh, uh, emergency Don cast. Emergency on Don a very cast. special episode of RFC. Yeah. yeah, you know, 
emergency, emergency. You know, we, that's what you need to put in front of it is like Ty doing her emergency thing. Oh, I have oh, ideas, Don. Oh, those those turned out those kit bashes turned out really well. And they, I they, mean, they, like Buster and Hydra bashes? are not. Well, they're not so different from uh, Dreadwind and Darkwing. Uh, it's just basically replacing the teal with red. But something about that with those decos just pops so much more. Yeah. Now, was was his wing still purple in the? Yeah, in, in, I, I checked. Uh, I checked references with the wiki to make sure I was getting okay, the decos correct. All right, I could, as as much as I love Master Force, I haven't watched it in a while, so I couldn't I couldn't remember. I was basing sure. these on the toys, also. The cartoon probably had a more, more simplified wing design because you know yeah. that's what they do. Yeah, and it's like it's not like there wasn't any commercials in Japan for Buster and Hydra at all, ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Every single commercial break was either Genra or Dread or the more Hydra and Buster. But I'm proud of these for a second reason, too, which is, um, you know, there was the promo render for one of the pair uh, that went up on the Facebook page yesterday, but not for uh, Darkwing. So I had to actually take case photos. These are T-Formers photos. I had to actually cut out my own stock photos to do these with. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. Well, now, now, you, now you need to take Darkwing and Photoshop him uh, with a with a fedora and a cape. <laughs> I think we're getting too dangerous with that, Don. Uh, I, am, I am showing it on the video, Chris, so people can see what you're talking oh, about. Oh, cool. cool. But very nice. Chris RTX on Twitter. Oh, yes. my God. He gave so, out his uh, Twitter, even. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, uh, did you get anything this week? Anything uh, worth talked, noting? Well, I mean, I talked about my Transformer stuff on RFC, but I do have I have been playing with my Aura Changer here. And I don't think we can see you still. So. Yeah, oh, darn. I can try yeah. dropping you from the tall and bringing you back if you really care. Yeah. Well, now, yeah, now, what, right. but now what is that, Matt? What is it? It's that is my Ghost Ray Sentai Aura Die Ranger Aura Changer. Oh, okay. I, I couldn't play. I, I didn't know what an Aura Changer was. I couldn't play. It came it. with a Kiba Changer, too. <laughs> is, it as, is it as good as a Sushi Changer? I don't have a Sushi Changer. I do. <laughs> you, should, you should correct that. Uh, one day when I see Shen Kendra, I just might. But, uh, yeah, I was sitting here playing with my my Sentai Morphers while my internet keeps cutting out. So, yeah, it and, cut and the wire too many times. So it's oh no, like, this is just my crappy router. Yeah, oh, okay. and, and now I'm picturing Matt when he finally gets his King Staff, chasing after these people that cuts his internet just to whop him over the head with it. Depending how much diecast metal they put in that gold, that could do some staff. damage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could take the power morpher right now and go use this brass knuckles. It's very accurate. Yeah, I have two. I have two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, just tempo graph, punish and enslave on him. And then he'd be like barricade or whatever, whatever he has on. I'll no, just no, leave a nice you, mastodon imprint on their forehead. I was going to say you, you like mix this concept with the phantom. You get a, a coin on there with the skull pattern and just, you know. Uh, the tiger coin might have to work, but yeah. You know. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board. Oh, say, this, say this man was attacked by Shere Khan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go. Rope. I'll go now since everyone else went. I did get my. Uh, if you're watching our video, pick right your up, camera up a little bit. Right up on my wall, I got uh, my purple Decepticon emblem uh, that I hung up today. Yeah, right you had a red one show. before, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I have a. They come in sets and they were same color. So I got red first because I wanted the red Autobot. Yeah. And then because I liked the quality of it, I went and got the purple. Uh, so now I also have a spare purple Autobot and red Decepticon. Well, you, you have you the shattered a... glass ones in, in reserve. Yeah. Set up yeah. a second collection room and make that the shattered glass room. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just have a shattered glass room. Of course, you have to finish uh, you know... setting up your main collection room first. Yeah. yeah, and then hey. I also got uh, Titans Return oh, cool. Blitzwing. Nice. Blitzwing. So, you know, it's weird. I've seen more Optimus and Megatrons on the shelf yep. than I have uh, Blitzwing and Octane since I got my my two. I still, well, like, about, I still haven't seen Blitzwing anywhere, and after what we saw from Takara on Octane, I think I'm going to hold off anyway. 
And I really, really, really hope that we get a tiny football coach headmaster with Blitzwing. Okay, I'm thinking about this. What if they paint the Titan Master itself to be the football coach? That's what I want. <laughs> like, yeah, but I mean, not like an extra one, just Blitzwing's own Titan Master. It's a football coach with Blitzwing I would be perfectly happy off. with that. It yes. would have to be Ditka. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. You, you know, you know what you need? You need that cash. You need to get someone good with electronics. And whenever you turn the lights on, you have a little thing up in your air vent between the two symbols that does the, that will, will sort of like do the signal change from G1. Do, 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 do there. Whenever you like, turn the lights on because you got in between the two symbols. Yeah. No, that's actually a window, but. Oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's a basement <laughs> window. Okay. So. Uh, but yeah, that's where uh, that's where our money went this week. Uh, we want to, this is the part of the show where we want to thank you guys for listening, and tell you guys to head over to Amazon and do your shopping at Amazon at tfradio.net/slash/amazon for all your shopping needs. It helps kick a couple pennies back to us or back to Brian Kilby to help keep the lights on. And I'll let Don talk because he has a special item that just went on Amazon that you might want to check. Is it Death's is Head that, 2? <laughs> it is not Death's Head 2, but you well, can actually, Death's Head 2. Actually, actually, I'm going to order like six of them, so I have one to throw at everybody next time I see y'all in person. <laughs> uh, so that way, you know, I've got plenty of ammo. Um, no, uh, thanks to Rob Clay from uh, our, our very own podcast. The uh, Optimus Evolution set was just spotted on Amazon. Now, this includes the War for Cybertron uh, Optimus Prime from a couple of years ago. The very easy to transform one, if you remember that one correctly. And the, I'm also kidding. And also the Orion Pex version of Cup from Titan's Return uh, for $29.99. And we had Free heard, shipping. yeah, with free shipping. We had heard this was going to be with a suggested retail of what? Forty nine ninety nine. The first pre order we saw was for I think sixty. Yeah, but I think that was speculative largely. Um, and of course, now we know this looks like it's going to be an Amazon product in the U.S. Uh, it's an Amazon exclusive in Japan too, so this may be an across the board thing. Yeah, and well, then we it, were also thinking that you know the other two pack that showed up was a Toys R Us one, and that was forty dollars. So thirty dollars is really good price for a two pack. Well, and we've said this before because there is a lot of there's a lot of plastic and a lot of toy in that War for Cybertron. So if you don't have that one, it is it's a little complicated, but it's really not a it's not a bad toy. It's just not, it's not that nearly easy. as bad as the Bumblebee is. Yeah, yeah. For, for a deluxe of that time period, it was very complex, but Insane. it's still yeah, but it's still a nice toy. And basically, you're you're still paying regular retail for two deluxes. So that really it, works out. It nice. looks fantastic in both modes. You just don't want to change it between those modes. So maybe buy two of these two packs and just like keep one in each mode. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's saying, uh, in stock now, uh, it's the transformers op evolution, uh, set, uh, TF radio, uh, TF slash Amazon. Uh, so check it out and get it while you can before they, uh, up and vanish. Free prime shipping. Well, actually, I have it Free up. Free any shipping. I do have it up, and it says Ooh. in stock on July 28th. So, uh, I, that's different uh, than before. Yeah. 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 Uh, because okay, just, mine is guaranteed delivery by the 26th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I just saw that. I, I'm, I'm, I apologize. I didn't. Yeah. Now, when that. we were looking and talking about this before the show, they were in stock now so yeah. we have depleted their supply uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> now i just need to go and check and see if the one i got was before or after the supply was de- depleted yeah i think yeah. mine said the 24th so yeah. Uh, mine yeah mine's saying arriving august 3rd to the 5th so i may have gotten one of the last one guys i'm sorry i apologize for that uh don you w- should feel horrible i, I feel <laughs> horrible you know you know i feel so horrible I will put the War for Cybertron up on eBay so someone can buy that figure and enjoy it so I won't. <laughs> and on that Don note... I can't feel awful today because it's Headmaster RC Day. This is true. Yes. <laughs> possible. <laughs> on that note, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. This has been There Goes My Money. 